Today, Governor Roy Cooper made clear his intent to veto the recent budget passed by the General Assembly. Governor Cooper stated the budget didn't do enough to fund education. The facts, our budget increased public education by nearly $700 million over two years. And this increase is on top of the nearly $2 billion increase in public education the General Assembly put in motion prior to Governor Cooper taking office. Governor Cooper stated the budget didn't fully fund teacher raises. The facts, our budget invested $100 million in teacher pay this year alone, and by 2018 we will provide our teachers a 9% pay increase. And remember, this pay increase is on top of the teacher pay raises we gave in 2014, 15, and 16. Pay raises that all happened before Governor Cooper came into office. Raises that amounted to the largest pay raises given to teachers in any state in the country. Governor Cooper stated the budget shortchanged entry-level teachers. The facts? The governor may not be aware, but before he came into office, we increased entry-level teacher pay by raising the entry salary for all starting teachers from $30,000 to $35,000. The governor stated the budget shortchanged veteran teachers. The facts? This budget allocates $10 million for the creation of a bonus program open only to veteran teachers with more than 25 years of experience. The governor stated the budget shortchanged school personnel. The facts, this budget includes $35 million to be used to increase the pay and provide performance bonuses for our public school principals all around the state. The governor also stated that our budget doesn't do enough to fully provide broadband to our rural areas. The facts, as chairman of the Digital Learning Committee at the State Board of Education, I personally traveled to Washington, D.C. and lobbied the chairman of the FCC and helped leverage $20 million of state funds to get $110 million over the last two years so that North Carolina will be the first state in the nation to have every classroom connected to high-speed broadband. But again, this education milestone started before Governor Cooper came into office. The governor's plans for education are a day late and a dollar short. And finally, the governor says that this budget lacks vision. The facts are that North Carolina continues to build on the vision set forth by state leaders over the past five years. A state that sees, as the governor himself noted, over 110,000 people moving to North Carolina annually to reap the benefits of a fiscally sound state government that does prioritize education for our students and parents. A government that doesn't kick the can down the road with irresponsible budgets, unmanageable debt, and unfunded liabilities. A government that puts forth budgets that ensure businesses can grow and more people can get hired. Our state has a vision that is benefiting North Carolina, and this bipartisan budget continues to build upon all of these successes. We will override the governor's veto and keep North Carolina on a path that will benefit all North Carolinians for years to come.